It was. Okay, so we are locked out of a VM uh, in the IBM environment, and we are going to put in the uh, bash shell default in order to give a single user mode so it can reset the password. So we've got the uh, KV article up here, but Sotero is going to go ahead. I'll include the KV article link in the text of the video. Sotero is going to go ahead and go back to her vCenter instance and she's going to power it on and then she's going to jump into the console immediately and hit the letter E to edit click in there and then E there you go yeah okay and then I'm going to go to kernel boot mm -hmm. but and you're going to hit the letter what do I have to do exactly the letter E for um, edit Go down until you see a line beginning with Linux slash VM Linux. And then put init equals bin slash, slash bin slash bash. So yeah, copy that in your mouse buffer. It'll let you. Uh, yeah, may, it me may, not let you may, not, may not let you paste it, but that's okay if it's worth a try. So hit okay, E. I'm okay. You got to no. click in that window with your mouse. Nope. Try to use your arrow keys and see if it'll let you move around. Now try E again. Oh, do E? E, the letter E for edit. E for edit, right? Yes. Or B for boot. E, e for edit. You haven't changed it yet. There you go. Now hit space and then the word init. I-N-I-T. Uh-oh, we got double characters again. Don't I have to wait till I find that line to put this in? I don't think it matters. No, you want init equals. I don't think it matters where you put it. No, no slash. Yeah, there you go. Init equals. I know you hate this about your vCenter. For some reason, it just gives you double characters. Slash bin slash bash. Bash or S-H? B-A-S-H. -B bash. Okay. Whoops. And that's it, right? No, I. It was messed up. That wasn't the right parameter. So hit E again. It, go back and look. See, it wants B A S H, Bravo Alpha. It says it says press E again. Okay, go down until you see a. So. All right. E. Hit enter. No, backspace, backspace. The letter B is in Bravo. The letter A is in Alpha. S is in Sam H. Now hit enter. And now hit B is in boot. Ooh. Oh, because there's a... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Go ahead and hit any key. And now hit E again. I guess maybe it got a little deleted. You should, see if you can use your back arrow and backspace. Um, oh, okay. What do you want me to put SH back on here? B A S H. B A S H. Bash. And then try to use your left arrow. Not not backspace, but your left arrow, and try to go back uh -huh. to the beginning of the line. Just hit it like twenty times. There you go. Let's see how, where it takes you here. Should show you the rest of the line shortly. I think we're missing a right parenthesis somewhere. All right. Oh. Keep going. Is this where we were? Keep going. I don't know why we're missing. That's it. Okay. Well, hit enter. And let's try B is oh oh look at the top. Go hit the up arrow. I know what happened. We deleted one of the characters. Now hit the letter E. Now put a right close parenthesis 
after that. See how you, mm -hmm. not, yeah, that's what happened. Hit enter. Okay. And now hit, hit, and then hit B as in boot, and it'll work now. Boot on kernel, right? Correct. B is in boot. Beta. There we go. Do I need to do anything? You need to wait. Just wait for a second, and there you go. Now P A S S W D to change your password and what you want the password to be. Okay, so what do we want it to be? We're gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I don't know why well, this now. Well, you're being you're being recorded, so I'm gonna letter. I'm gonna stop the recording so that we don't mm -hmm. put our password in, and then. Uh, Thank you all for watching. This has been a how to set the password on a VM.